Hi, Dougie, Gemma, Lincoln, Samuel, Bella, Tyler, Arai, and Colin. The CTR4 and Sunbeam classes are combined this year, so this should be a really cool year. We are studying the Doctrine and Covenants along with the Joseph Smith history. They are tied together because Joseph Smith is sharing what the Lord has told him to share with us. And this is so cool. So we are being given modern revelation from the Lord directly, and that is really special. Now, the song of the, we'll have a song of the month, every month, and since we don't actually have the big primary class, we can practice a little bit here, and hopefully you will continue to practice the song with your family throughout the month, and even continue it on. Um, and every month I'll give you, well, Sister Brown and I will give you the new song of the month. So that's the first thing we're going to do, is we're going to go over the song a little bit. Okay? So hang on. Okay, so we're going to uh, practice a couple lines of this and get the hang of it. And we'll do the best we can. Now, I realize that we're not actually seeing each other at the same time, so I'll try and pause and give you a chance to catch up. Okay? So just hang in there and we will give this a shot. Well, first you have the introduction, of course which is where they, they play a part of the music before we actually start to sing. were humming, sweet birds singing, music ringing through the grove. Now, you might want to have your mom or dad come over and help you. Maybe they have some music they can share, one of the hymnals. Um, and we're going to go back and we're going to start over. And we're just going to practice that first part again a little bit, okay? So. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. And this time try to sing with me if you can. Okay? Oh how lovely was the morning radiant being the sun of we're humming, sweet birds singing, music ringing through the grove. When within the shady woodland, Joseph saw the God of love. When within the shady Joseph saw the God of love. Okay. So we'll sing that one more time. And hopefully we'll have the whole thing together now. And I said you practice this on yourself during the week. Because who knows if we get a chance. Maybe we'll get a chance to do it for the primary concert at the end of the year. So hang on. We'll try one more time. Hmm. Oh, how lovely was the morning, radiant being the sun above. Bees were humming, sweet birds singing, music ringing through the grove. When the shady, shady woodland do so the God of love, when within the shady woodland, Joseph sought the God of 
the wheel. Okay, so you just have to practice that, um, and you can learn it one verse, like learn each start, like the first. Oh, how lovely what is the morning, radiant being the sun above. And then once you've learned that, then add to it the second part. Bees were humming, sweet birds singing, music ringing through the grove. And then you would repeat that till you know. You say, oh, how lovely was the morning, radiant being the sun above. Bees were humming and birds were, sweet birds were singing, music ringing through the grove. And then when you memorize that, then you go to the next line, which was on this, in this, within the shady woodland, Joseph sought the God of love. And it repeats itself for the end of that verse when within the shady woodland Joseph sought the God of love. And remember, this kind of reminds you what it's like to pray to God and how it felt for Joseph that first time when he asked God that humble question, who was telling the truth? And God told him. Okay, so pause here. So now I'm going to show you a picture of Moroni visiting Joseph Smith. It's from the Gospel Art Book, number 91. Your parents can find that online if they can. Um, and when we're looking at this, what we want you to think about is what you see in the picture visiting Joseph, when Moroni is visiting Joseph Smith. And what do you think when you see Moroni visiting Joseph Smith? So when you look at the picture, of course, you see Moroni. He's very bright. You see Joseph sitting up in bed. The candle's not lit. And Moroni is appealing to him. He's reaching out to him. This is really cool. Okay? And he's telling him something. You can see that Moroni is talking. Okay? And then I want you to think of yourself lying in your bed. When a bright light suddenly comes into your room, and that, in that light is an angel, can you imagine suddenly seeing an angel in your room? And just like Joseph, I bet your attention would be really focused on that angel. Okay? So he's going to listen. Now here, Job, Joseph is a bit older than you, suddenly, as an angel's in his room. The angel Moroni is bringing him a message from God. Heavenly Father has worked a special calling for Joseph Smith. It was the first calling in the church, you know? Um, Moroni tells Joseph about the Book of Mormon and the people in it. Heavenly Father wants Joseph to translate the book. Moroni actually visited Joseph Smith three times that night to retell him everything, probably to help Joseph Smith remember correctly and to show him how important that message was. Now in the first Come Follow Me lesson about Doctrine and Covenants chapter 1, the Lord tells us that we are to spread that restored gospel. The Book of Mormon is part of our restored gospel. It helps to understand parts of the Bible that have confused so many. And this book helps to verify Christ and his mission to bring us back to Heavenly Father. So here we see that the book, of, the gospel that we're supposed to send, this is where Joseph got it from and share what we're supposed to share. Okay. So now Joseph Smith is told he's going to translate the Book of Mormon. And translate means to retell something in a new language, such as the language of the Book of Mormon into our language, English. So if you're talking to a Spanish person, you may not understand them. So someone translates that and tells you what they're saying in English, okay? Now, Moroni told Joseph the place where the plates were along with special stones called the Urim and Thummim, Urim and Thummim, to help him translate the words. Moroni also gave Joseph Smith a vision of the plate. So Joseph is sitting in his room, Moroni standing there, and all of a sudden he can see the plates, okay? And that's what the vision is. Joseph went to see the plates as well. When he was looking at the plates that were up on the hill, which is not that far from here, maybe three, four hours, you know, um, I'm not exactly sure, okay? Moroni told him to leave the plates in that safe place for now. So Joseph came back once a year to look at those plates. And while he visited those plates, Moroni taught him about the Lord's plans, the kingdom on the earth and whatever else. And there's a lot of things we probably don't, that he hasn't shared, he didn't share with us because he was told not to. Mor Moroni also talked about Elijah, a great prophet who was in the Bible in the Old Testament. Elijah was bringing the priesthood and the power and the authority of the priesthood back to us. That power and authority was not to rule, but to be able to perform the ordinances such as sealing families together forever in the temple. This is why we do family history research, to find our past relatives, do their ordinances for them, and seal them to us. It is possible for many generations of a family, maybe even every generation, 
of a family to be sealed together forever. And sealing is like a string that ties or binds family members together so they can stay a family forever. So it's like you're all holding on to a big long rope. Okay? And you can you actually, I don't know if you actually live together or how we're going to be together, but we're all going to be one big family up there. Okay? So here are the verses in the Doctrine and Covenants 2. There are three verses. And they are also in the uh, included in the Joseph Smith history because he tells about what the angel Moroni told him. Okay. And what Elijah, what the verses say, what God tells us, Behold, I will reveal unto you the priesthood by the hand of Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall plant in the hearts of the children the promises made to the fathers, and the hearts of the children shall turn to their fathers. If it were not so, the whole earth would be utterly wasted at his coming. And of course, the great and dreadful day of the Lord is when Jesus returns. And what God's going to do is going to plant the promises in our hearts because there were promises God made to our parents in the past, the ancestors, like in the Bible, things like that. And we shall turn to our fathers, our ancestors, which is why we do genealogy, because we're going to be together again if we get sealed and we become an eternal family and if we did not get to do this then he's saying that you know the plan of salvation doesn't mean a whole lot so those are three really cool verses if you get a chance sit down with your parents and read them maybe even memorize them okay you know, we have so much to be thankful for we have received the restored gospel through our prophet joseph smith he accepted his calling to be our first living prophet, knowing some would accept the gospel and some would be mean to him because they didn't believe him. And I bear my testimony that our first living prophet is Joseph Smith. In his first vision, he met with Heavenly Father and Christ. In his second vision, he met with Moroni and was called to translate the Book of Mormon for all of us. The restored gospel is true and the key to our salvation through the atonement of Jesus Christ. I have also included um, a link to your parents for the Doctrine and Covenants stories for this lesson. Okay? So, I want you to have a good day. I want you to keep the Sabbath holy. I want you to say your prayers. Keep up your journals. And, Sister, and we're going to offer a prayer before we go. Okay? So, I'm going to say it this time because I'm here. If any of you want to say a prayer, you can send me a video of you saying a closing prayer, and I will use that prayer in the video. And in that case, if your parents want, I will make the video private so other people on YouTube will not be able to see you. It will just be for our class because um, I don't want to violate anybody's privacy because that's really important today. Okay? So um, I look forward, though, to maybe you guys sending me prayers that I can use. So we can all see each other and be part of it. If you can remember to do a video, that would be great. Because then I can introduce you to each other. You can see each other's faces, which you probably haven't seen for a while. And that would be really cool. Um, so we're going to have the prayer now. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity we have to share with each other. Even when we can't be together in a room. We want to thank you for the knowledge that lets us do these things. And we want to thank you for the restored gospel. We want to thank you for the Joseph Smith's calling and for him being our first prophet. We want to thank you for everything that you give to us to help us come home to you. We ask you to bless those that are suffering right now. We ask you to bless those that aren't suffering right now. And we ask you these things in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Sister Brown, I love you guys. And you have a good day. Bye.